Oh my gosh. Guys, should we try and kill him? Bro, I didn't do nothing! Uh-huh! Uh-huh! What's good, boy? Reload! What's up, what's going on, Corey Kitchen here, and welcome back to Bendy and the Ink Machine. So I actually thought we were done with Chapter 3. What is that? I was wrong. See, I thought when you have the opportunity to choose the angel route or the demon route, you choose the demon route, you listen to the recording, and then everything's the same after that. However, comma, there are more secrets to be discovered, said by you guys in the comment section. Y'all not lying, are y'all? Because I wouldn't like that. All right, back at it once again. I've also learned we can procure a little, uh, weapon. Hey, Boris. Hey, buddy. You seen that lever handle around? Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? Yes! First I of thought all, so. Nah, nah, hold up, hold up. We're going to talk about why, number one, your head knob even bopping to the music. Boris, I know what you really listening to. See, he got the earbuds in. In New York, I merely walk. I did it myself. <gasps> Another thing that I didn't notice before was how we got these uh, cards on the table and a score, it looks like, of Boris and me. So I've actually been here for a while, it looks like. I mean, like I said, at the end of chapter two, when, uh, you know, Boris walks out, actually roll that clip real quick. Come out and show yourself. Dude, he mad calm for this. Who is this, Max Steel? Oh my god! Doesn't it look like Boris is about to like kill you or something? But nah, Boris is the homie. It's Liddy. <laughs> Alright, let's get your freaking suit, my dude. Um, uh, the first one is in here. Give me that. Here. That should be enough. Now I'm about to cook it up. <sighs> so, uh, you ready for some of this Cory X cooking? Just hold on, I'm, I'm a level 7 chef, alright? Just throw some freaking arsenic in it. I'm tired of this! Here you go, dude! Here you go. Yeah! I really put my foot in it this time. Literally. So now that we got the lever, we can open the door. Bada bop. And then he, Boris gets up. I don't know how the freak he ate the soup that quick! I did it myself. <gasps> but I learned if we come back here and we pick this up, we have a bow. Here you go, boy. Aww. <laughs> Look at Boris with his little bone, you wony. Does that bone taste good, boy? Yes. And we got an achievement, Knick Knack Patty Whack. Now, I don't know how long he keeps that bone, but that's pretty cool. It's weird because. I'm treating him like a pet, but he's as tall as me. All right. Wow. I don't remember any of this. You don't remember this, huh, Henry? You know what I'm starting to think? This dude, Henry, isn't as innocent as he uh, lets us on to believe. Now, you see this thing here? I mean, last time, I, I really didn't say anything about it. It's like, sometimes your eyes will look at something, but your brain dismisses it as just some something mundane but we can actually press e and change the form of this ink gooply gobbly this is a boris this is boris this is alice that's the ink machine and you can change it back to uh bendy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on uh the ink machine jack except the guy was good I don't be seeing what the big deal is. Yeah, I'll talk to you later, bruh. Alright, so then, we keep moving. Jack, shut up, Jack! Jack! Stop talking to me. Oh, crap. Bro, Jack's still talking over here. Jack! I'm trying to listen to Alice. Alice, you're gonna need to see a plastic surgeon because your face melted. So we go this way and we take the demon route. So I actually showed you guys this um, tape in the Cuphead video, but I don't know if all y'all watch that. Go watch Cuphead, please. There's nothing wrong with dreaming. Wishing for the impossible is just human nature. Mm -hmm. That's how I got started. Just mm -hmm. a pencil and a dream. Right. We all want everything. Without even having to lift a finger. I wanna they work. say, you just have to believe. Believe and work. make you succeed. 
Mm -hmm. Belief can make you rich. True. Belief can make you powerful. Mm -hmm. Why, with enough belief, you can even cheat death itself. <laughs> that is not correct. Now that is a beautiful and positively silly thought. With enough belief, you can cheat death itself. Saka, unless you talk about believing in getting the seven Dragon Balls, I don't know what the freak you talking about. Jump scare. Yeah, not happening. Boris. He still has oh, the bone. You're scared me to death. All right. I suppose you found anything we can use to protect ourselves with. No, just give me this. This will do. All right, butcher gang, do your worst. Uh huh. Let me just start beating you. Yeah. Let me just start beating you while you. Dude, he had invincibility frames? Invincibility. Invincibility. Oh, Boris. Boris, wait. Don't look at it, Boris. Don't look at it. Look what she did. Ah. Alice Angel out here eating hearts. Seriously, though. Is that what she's doing? What is she doing? We know later she wants us to collect hearts, but is she literally eating them? I don't know. Is she putting them in a freaking potion and drinking it all right guys while i'm in the middle of doing all these fetch quests which i'm not gonna make you watch again um you remember this like body of ink liquid just chilling here well your boy knows how to drain it now so we will be returning all right guys so now that we got the uh fire axe we can cut these boards off of this door uh-huh mm-hmm what have we here Hey, uh, say, uh, the real problem with Mr. Drew is that, uh, he never actually tells us little people anything. Oh, sure. According to him, there's always big stuff coming. Adventure and fame and the like. But, uh, I'm the guy, see, who has to make sure our budgets don't go all out of whack just because genius upstairs went out and got himself another idea. Uh... And speaking of which, and this is top secret, apparently Mr. Drew has another large project in mind now. And it ain't gonna be cheap. Grant Cohen. I don't know who that is, but he sounds like he's in charge of the uh, financial office up here at uh, Bendy Studios, aka The Crazy House. We can only presume that uh, this big project that Joey is working on was a freaking ink machine. Not even lying. This is it. Give it to me. Give me the gun. Please work. Let's go! Let's go! Ah! Ah! All right, guys. In order to get the gun, you have to change that ink blob that was in that bowl to the ink machine and take the demon roll and get here without dying. It may not look like it, but your boy died five times. Yeah. And when you die, they start you over. So, wait, what? Reload. Wait. So he does reload. Okay. Wait, hold up. Nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. We done. We done fighting these freaking things, man. Projectionist, huh? Oh, I'm about to come down there and I'm about to give him some work. Hold up. Reload. Reload. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What's good, boy? Reload. Re This dude got freaking Now guys why now guys while we're down here alright so we got these planks here Ah open that wide open and there's his vault Bada bop boom So now what that's gonna do is drain that one room Oh my gosh guys should we try and kill him? Bro, it didn't do nothing! It didn't do nothing! Get in the house! Hide! 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 So, uh, the gun does not affect Bendy. This place that used to be filled up with all the ink is now drained. And we got this recording. Only two weeks into this company, and already it's gotten interesting. Joey is a man of ideas. And only ideas. When I agreed to start this whole thing with him, I thought there'd be a little more give and take. Instead, I give, and he takes. Uh -huh. I haven't even seen Linda for days now. Linda? Still, Linda? someone has to make this happen. When in doubt, 
out, just keep going, Henry. On the plus side, I've got a new character that I think people are gonna love. So it's me. I left this recording here. Can I turn any of this? Is there anything else? That was freaking me. So I agreed to work here with Joey. Things weren't going good, I guess. And then he said it's been weeks since I seen Linda. Is that my wife? Do I live at work? But lastly, that he had an idea for a new character. And I'm willing to bet my left booty cheek that that character is Bendy. I think that Henry created Bendy. And Bendy was always, I mean, even if we look at the uh, trailer for chapter three, Bendy has always been like a little miscreant, a little mischievous troublemaker but not killer i think that joey took henry's character bendy along with the ink machine changed him into a demon what oh. the heck is this what the bro what the uh excuse me oh my gosh bro i just found something so if you walk through this you find the meatly the game dev just having a little tea party back here with a freaking burger and what looks like mashed potatoes. No, but seriously, I don't know what this means. Um, you guys just told me about it in the comments. Maybe this is the Meatly just sitting back and watching all of us suffer with all of these jump scaring. F oh, oh, are you serious, bro? Oh my. Oh. Thanks, Meatly. Guys, it's been confirmed. If you stare at the Meatly too long, he will summon Bendy to kill you. I think Henry is the creator of Bendy. That's what I think. Boris, I appreciate the face massage, but if you would have just turned around. <sighs> oh, what? What the heck? It looks like all the things are like standing around and worshiping him. All right, you guys, there you have it. Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter Three Secrets. I tackled what I think are all the secrets. If I miss one, please let me know down in the comments. You want some more Bendy um, secrets slash lore? Yeah, I didn't know what to do. Be sure to sister the samurai. Slice that like button. Subscribe today to join the samurai. And until next time, my brothers and sisters. Because my name is Gary Kenton. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>